Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our programming in C++ series. In this lesson, I'm going to be sharing some resources that I think would be really valuable for you if you're a beginner, intermediate, or even an expert user in C++. So let me go ahead and tell you a little bit of the story of what I'm going to show you. So a few days ago, someone went ahead and posted on Twitter some of their favorite conference talks on the C++ programming language. So they ranked their top 10 here. Here's the top 10 list. And then I went ahead on Twitter and said, hmm, you know, I wonder what other folks' top C++ conference talks are, you know, so I can learn myself. So from this, I went ahead and curated on this list some of my favorite talks here. Now, again, I haven't ranked these in any order, and over time, I think we're going to add to this list, and maybe we can make another video if that's useful to folks, but I want to go ahead and just share some of the talks that I think have been impactful. Now, before I go ahead and do this, though, I just want to talk in general a little bit about what it means to give a conference talk at one of these C++ conferences, because you yourself might end up doing this as you're learning C++ or maybe other languages, and you'll give a talk at some other conference. It's a really great way to meet other folks who are excited about some of the stuff that you're excited about and to learn. So there's many different conferences out in the C++ community. You'll see some various ones in the links here. Uh, and I recommend you try to attend if you can or watch maybe virtually, or for the most part, all of these talks are available for free on YouTube, which is awesome. So these conference talks are usually pretty well curated and the resources uh, and the speakers are pretty knowledgeable in the topic at hand. So again, I think this is a great list of conference talks and without further ado, here are some of the ones that I find myself frequently watching and what you can learn from them. So the first one that I have listed here is by Kate Gregory and it's about Stop Teaching C. And this is a talk that just very pragmatically talks about how to approach teaching the C++ language, as well as just some really pragmatic tips about uh, how to program as well. So I really like this talk. It's changed how I teach C++. So it's really very much influenced uh, this channel and uh, my own teaching style in many ways. Then I have here in from CPPCon 2018, Matt Godbolt's The Bits Between the Bytes, How We Get to Main. And this is a really interesting talk for folks who haven't done much systems programming. And even if you had, it's nice to sort of collect all the information because in this talk, Matt's always going one step further and further, showing you just how our programs actually get executed. Where do they start from? So I think that's a really intriguing talk, especially if you're just one of those folks who has to know how things work behind the scenes, like I think as many of you who are watching this channel. The next talk here, C++ Code Smells by Jason Turner. So Jason has another awesome YouTube channel you should check out, C++ Weekly. Uh, but he also does a lot of training, and these are the different types of code smells that he's collected, as well as from others in the community. So it's just a very pragmatic talk showing neat little tricks and maybe even exposing you some, to some parts of the standard library that you might not know about. So I really appreciate that talk. Then in CppCon 2017, I've got Bjorn Strusip. And, you know, as you, many of you folks know, he's the creator of C++. Uh, but this particular talk goes on to show many of the nice parts of C++ 17 at the time on how we can make it an approachable language. It's also a call to the community to think about training others and building, you know, reasonable resources to help other folks out. So it's talking about things like the core guidelines and such. So I think this is a really good talk just to see the sort of landscape of modern C++ and how it really has changed the language versus C++ 98 and how it's been taught since then. Next up is a keynote talk from uh, Tony Van Erd from CPP uh, Now. 2021, and this is revisiting the solid principles. So many times when folks take a software engineering class, or maybe if you pick up a software engineering book, you'll see the solid principles uh, presented. But what I really like about this talk is there are many, many examples shown for each of the principles. And again, Tony is going to talk about some of the trade-offs, when to follow these sort of guidelines, and just sort of rethinking solid. In fact, is SOLID even the right acronym um, as it is? So I highly recommend this talk as it shows a pragmatic way for the various principles and, again, talks about some of the trade-offs with them. All right, next up is CppCon 2015 by Greg Law. Give me 15 minutes and I'll change your view of GDB. Uh, this is a really good talk. One of the first CppCon talks I saw quite a few years ago. And uh, this one really uh, sold GDB to me at the time uh, because I was used to using uh, IDEs because I didn't know you could do a lot of these different tricks just with a terminal. So really good talk. I think everybody's got 
or can find 15 minutes to go ahead and try this out and just try out some things as uh, Dr. Law does. And it's just a really nice way to learn GDB. Uh, and that's why you've seen so many, you know, GDB uh, videos and um, my courses and stuff on debugging um, uh, in a way. Next up is CPPCon 2014 by Mike Acton on data oriented uh, design in C++. So this was really one of the talks that I think brought forward to a lot of folks uh, data oriented programming. Uh, this idea of programming to solve a problem by looking at the data. So it's a very clear talk about uh, being pragmatic and sort of solving the problems at hand. So I highly recommend that you watch this uh, talk, especially if you're working in an industry that uh, performance is very important. For those who don't know, Mike Acton works uh, on games uh, at Insomniac, Unity 3D, um, uh, most recently, to my knowledge, so this is a very good uh, talk to watch. Next up is Performance Matters by Emery Berger. Uh, this was at Strange Loop. I think it was also at uh, CPPCon uh, as well. So there's a few uh, variations of it. Uh, but this is just an excellent talk about performance and how to go through performance analysis and what different considerations you need to make, as well as some of the tools that uh, Professor Berger has made um, throughout his career with some of his students and other folks in industry. So it's a really nice talk. It's really well presented. It's probably a great example of how to present um, and tell a story along with a talk, so um, something that can be taken there. Next up is Software Engineering Principles with Titus Winters. Uh, this is an invited talk uh, Titus very kindly gave um, at my uh, home university, so I was able to host him there. Um, and this talk made me always question uh, some things about object, uh, not even just uh, when we talk about lifetimes, we usually think about object lifetimes, but actual code lifetime. How long is some piece of code going to actually live in a code base? So uh, that's something after watching uh, this talk and talking with Titus a little bit that I've always sort of thought about. Um, and from his uh, in Hiram's uh, software engineering book, uh, you'll gather some of these principles. So again, I think this is something that could be a little bit of a paradigm shift uh, for you on a team. Next up are part one and part two of Connor Hoekstra's uh, Algorithm Intuition series. And this was just a fantastic uh, and very exciting uh, talk um, in my mind about algorithmic programming. So, you know, Connor makes it very fun. It's interactive. And, you know, in my opinion, this is a talk that'll get you excited and make you open up the uh, algorithm and numeric libraries in C++ to see some of the different uh, tools that we have at, at hand. I still think today a lot of C++ programmers still don't know about uh, some of these libraries or, or take advantage of them as much as they can. So this is a really fun talk uh, by, by Connor that I'd recommend that folks uh, take a look at. And then the final talk I'll dive out of here for a minute was at a uh, Code Dive conference by Scott Myers on CPU caches and why you should care. Uh, in this talk, why I uh, like this talk uh, and there's been several others that maybe again I'll cite in the future, but this gives for a lot of software engineers uh, some intuition and just some uh, realities of how much our hardware matters. Now, this talk was from eight years ago at the time of this recording, but that said, you know, all of these things still very much matter and perhaps matter even more today. Uh, you know, our ability to also understand hardware and at least have a basic understanding of hardware and computer architecture uh, as programmers is very, very important for uh, performance, but also just, you know, making reasonable software. So uh, I recommend this, this talk here. So here's my uh, playlist. Uh, I'm going to uh, link it in the description below so that you can uh, check it out. So now just a few words here. So, you know, one thing that you can uh, think about doing is in watching these talks. Um, so go ahead and visit that uh, playlist. Uh, it will also start bringing in other interesting talks from the YouTube algorithm as you click through some of these talks and watch them. So consider that, you know, this should be a good list for getting you started on your journey for finding some interesting talks. I hope you'll find some interesting ones that you really enjoy and make sure to link them in the comment section below uh, so that we can uh, check those out and share them. And as time goes on, if folks like these types of videos, where I curate a few uh, resources that I think are interesting, uh, please do uh, let me know. Now, again, I'll just mention, you know, if you didn't uh, happen to see yourself on this list, if you're one of the authors, uh, don't worry. There's many different kinds of talks that can be given and at different levels and some that might be more widely applicable or more narrowly applicable to general audiences. So what's on this list is a list of talks that I think generally everyone can get some value out of, um, regardless of what your exposure is in C++ or sort of systems programming. So I uh, just wanted to add that uh, caveat there that, you know, it's 
it's great that we have all these resources and there are hundreds if not uh, thousands um, i know there's more than thousands of talks uh, freely available so please do uh, check those out so with that said folks i will go ahead and link that in the description below go ahead in the moment that you're checking out the description uh, to make sure to join our free community if you'd like check out the memberships if you'd like to support this channel and with that said as always thanks for your time and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video